Faceoff X. Maryland and Ohio State. We are ready for some lacrosse. Austin Henningsen getting the first draw for the Terps. The freshman Justin Inacio for Ohio State. And Ryan Tarafenko picks up the ground ball. One of the best steam middies in the country. A lot of interchangeable parts. A lot of players who can bounce between attack and midfield. Here's the freshman Colby Smith over to Jack Jasinski. Junior from Alabama and Jasinski stings the corner. And, and the lead is critical. They set that pick on that left wing. And it it really prevents Maryland from getting a step out to the shooter. It Jasinski finds Colin Chell, the senior captain for Rutgers. That's when the ball's behind the goal. The pick is set. The eyes of the defense on the ball carrier, and everybody gets soft. The soft underbelly of the zone, and Chell just finds the bubble. In Maryland, typically, when their long poles are playing defense, they're slow. will kind of like lull the defense, then slip underneath. Here's JT Bugliosi. Over to Rip Colin it. Chell. He's got a good look. 3 nothing Buckeyes. Ohio State off to a blistering start. Colin Chell is in a spot right here where he's thinking, geez, no one's on me. Should I rip it? Rip it! Stay in corner, 22. You know, sometimes when you put yourself in a position where you're a facilitator and you're a passer. Fairman. I'll move it around. Fairman with a good look. He'll fire a save made by Josh Kearson, the sophomore out of Massachusetts. Terps are trying to get this back, and they do. Still nine seconds on the man up. Kelly. Finding Logan Wisnowskis, and it's a man up goal. This clear box down at the midfield line. You see the attackman, Kelly, doing a great job riding. It's a two all on break with the lefty freshman. Just the tail end, but the, 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 the turnover by Ohio State. The sleeve, you see him running the weave, but they love these high picks. Jasinski has a stick knocked away. Picked up by Nick Brozowski. Brozowski's got four career goals. Feeds the crease to Bernhardt. Back to Kelly. And the low sidewinder makes it 3-2. When he rips it. Yard sale time. Yard sale. Trigger transition. Farmer's Market in College Park on Sundays. Cut out. But look at the rip. You see the low release point right there. From that same spot, I will... You're right, they found ways to manufacture goals outside of a traditional second midfield. Rotans, that one was easily manufactured for the senior. Adam. Rarely makes mistakes. He realizes that Ohio State has left him on the island. Dodges down the alley and then ducks in underneath. His father, a legend coach out on Long Island. He played for him when he was in high school. He played every the pick from Colby Smith. Jasinski, goal and assist so far with his second helper as he finds Colin Chell, who's got an early hand zone, and they're standing around like a bunch of white traffic cones. And in the soft underbelly of that zone is a wide open guy. Same goal, same scenario. If I'm an offensive player, is to get into those passing lanes, Quint. He's got his stick on air traffic control. Nice look. Wisnowskis right there. The backside. They understand Borges 32 is the hot man. He's sliding upfield. He needs help. Defensively, you have to work in pairs. So if 32 leaves 12. One tally since. Jasinski draws the slide. Skip pass. LeClaire. Bang. Speed draws a crowd. Lob pass to the weak side. You grip it and rip it. Great look by Jasinski, the Alabama nine. LeClaire saved by Morris. Connor Kelly, hands free, low shot, and Kelly's got his third of the game. If you watch one and white. A little bit of a stutter, plants his feet, now it's direct overhand, high to low. He's got it all. That is a pass and pick down. Now, Jasinski pushed back by Corley, speed against strength. Jasinski got the step, feeding Reed for the score, tied at six. They've been staring at the ball carrier. They've doubled and triple teamed. There's poor communication when you're sending three players to one ball carrier. Watch it here. 
Do you feel like he's beat there? So you say beat Maryland, beat Rutgers, and then what about one more in the Big Ten tournament? That'll help. Colby Smith beating Dan Morris. Caves to make with the one to start the game and the one to start the third quarter. Coming out of the locker room. Without question, but what I like about Ohio State is they're calling it lulling the defense to sleep a little bit. Looks like he's going topside to run us in the NLL. Jackson Reed pushed back by Drew Harrison. Reed from the alley. Top shelf on Morris, a two-goal lead. He's probably a buck 60 soaking <laughs> wet right now, so he needs to hit the weight room. Once he does and finds some of this lick, you saw that underneath move, and he, their consistency of effort is, is really amazing. Buckley against DeMillo draws the slide. Chell. Wow. That's four for Colin Chell. Defense is just too passive. Look how tight that house is, that box is. They're all inside the hash marks. Buckley, no, 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 highest no, 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 GPA no, no, no. on the team. Dodges top no, side. Shell just. Bernhardt against Randall. Bernhardt bounces one past Kirsten. Heck, and the option there. I, I, what I like about this goal is he's been a little quiet. I think he senses that the offense has been all Connor Kelly. And, well, maybe now's the time that I need to put this team on my back a little. Just, just. Gotten a save by Kearson. Seeing some of that second midfield for Maryland. Now DeMillo against McConney. DeMillo! And something about playing Ohio State for Adam DeMillo. Big moments. He delivers. Huge for the Terps. Once again, 23 and white. Bringing it. Here comes DeMeo on the wing dodge. Lowering that shoulder. And DeMeo ties the game at nine for Mar Because it was, so it's like a fadeaway. It's like, okay, he doesn't like what he sees here. He's stepping away. Boom, left-handed. Paints that near post. You find a way to put your six best offensive players on the field. Now, DeMeo was... Wins the scrap. Corley threw it away. Shoveled back by LeClaire. Chell... Picks it up. Opportunity for Ohio State. And Chell finds the cutter Reed. A hat trick for the freshman. Today picks up a monster ground ball. That's LeClaire. That's hockey. LeClaire with the hockey scoot. Hockey yeah. That, yeah. Pushes that forward to space. Great play by 14. All right, we're good. I was pulling the wrong way. Bernhardt saved by Kearson. He lost it. Able to track it, clamp it. And McConney accelerating. McConney feeding the wing. Reed, he's turned away by Morris. Here, drop Maryland into the zone when it goes behind the goal. Here is Jusinski. Boom. Feeding Bethke. 11 9, Buckeyes. Only buddy as hot as Jusinski is Kark calling the Buckeye goal. offense before it happens. And now they'll come. Shell had a stick knocked out of his hands. Did he get the timeout? I think he got the timeout before he lost the cradle. Wow. Of a helicopter. Leave it hanging, send it flying. Newfelt. Little back wrap. Yikes. Ow. And then Corley comes in for a nice little, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> Down the stretch and make a run. They've got 35 seconds to run out. Jasinski will bag the empty netter. How about a seven point after? Came in with five assists on the season, and he has five assists today. Shot out of a cannon. Runs by two All-American defenders like they're standing still. Looks like Jordan Wolf has lost badly to Yale. So who's number one tomorrow? Duke. I say Yale. I may go Yale. I may go Yale after what I saw. I think Yale should be one, but I think Duke will be number one. Connor Kelly says, hang on. 21 seconds to go. How many of his goals ping off pipes? It's crazy. You know what? This is a rollback to his left. Yes. You know, he showcased the right roll, the left roll. I'm, I'm at Rotan stumbles, feeding the crease. Bernhardt lost it. Ohio State takes down number one Maryland, 12 to 10.